Hello, this is Jacob Hofer with the Hofer Zingone Group, and we are showing off our machine learning project three. To demonstrate the output for classification, I am going to be testing on the breast cancer dataset with zero hidden layers. Here we can see our last test fold, training fold nine, and we can see the predicted values next to the actual values. And as we can see, many of them are correct. And if we scroll down, we can see that our percent correct is around 95%. Running again, we can now see with one hidden layer, with 24 nodes in the layer, what our output from training fold nine is. And we can see we have an accuracy of about 92%. Running one more time, but this time with two hidden layers and 10 nodes in each of the layers, we can see our test fold nine with all of its outputs here. And we can see that our percent correct is about 97%. We can then see our average performance here of 96% with zero hidden layers. Running this time with one hidden layer and 24 nodes in that layer, we get an average performance of about 96%. And then one more time, but with two hidden layers and 10 nodes in each layer, we get an average performance of about 95%. Now switching over to a regression data set, we are going to be looking at machine, first with zero hidden layers. And here we can see the predicted versus the actual values with some significantly being much closer than others since we are just working with zero hidden layers for this set. Now switching over to one hidden layer with 32 nodes in that layer. And looking at test fold nine, we can see that our predicted values are significantly closer to their actual values than it was with just using a single hidden layer. And now switching over to two hidden layers with 10 nodes in each layer and we have our results for test fold nine. So now we will also look at the calculated weight matrices for the machine data set with two hidden layers and 10 nodes per layer. Here we can see for training fold nine, we have our weight matrices. This is our input layers, its output weight matrix, and this designates the node that it comes from and the node that it goes to and then the associated weight. And then we have the similar matrix from hidden layer zero, and then the, the matrix from hidden layer one. And we can see that since this is a regression data set, this matrix only has the one column here since they all go to one singular node. I will now show you the feed forward process for the breast cancer data set with a network that has two hidden layers. If we run the code here, and we pause the execution on feed forward, we can take a look at our input neurons and we can see that they have a bunch of set values here. And as we step through the code, we will go through each layer and we will call this calculate value for each of the hidden neurons. If we go into this calculate value function, we see that it actually calls this sigmoid here. And the sigmoid goes through and we are calculating a sum from all of its input connections. And if we watch our sum value here, it will slowly start to increase as we step through the code. Once we have our sum, we will then return the sigmoid based off of that sum. And we will set our output value for the node to be that value. And then we go to the next hidden neuron and we continue going on through that. And there, now we'll go on to the second layer and do the same. And then as we step through the code even more, we'll go to all of the neurons in the output layer and have them calculate their value in this same way. Then at the very end, we can look and see that our neurons in the output layer are both given a value. Continuing on, we then go through the output layer and we calculate the sigmas for each of those based off of the target outputs that are passed in in an array. And we go through and we calculate the, the gradient using this equation right here and put that into this list of sigmas. Now that the sigmas are calculated there, we go through and we calculate all the sigmas for all of the hidden layers as well, doing this similar uh, construction here by using this equation to calculate each of the sigmas based off of the previous sigmas and then going through and updating the weights. Showing back propagation for the machine network, which is regression based, we go through and we calculate the sigmas and one output layer, we have just the one value of sigma here. And then as we continue on to each hidden layer, we'll go through and calculate sigmas for each of the nodes and also add them into this map. And you can see there's one sigma. And then as we continue on to the next hidden layer, we now have a bunch of sigmas in here from the previous one. 
and then we go through and we do a lot of sums and eventually we put it in as a yet another sigma calculated here.